Welcome back to Relegon Adventures. Now, um, today I've got the Crossman M4177, which is a multi-pump BB and pellet firing. Quite a nice looking little air rifle. It's obviously based on the M4 carbine. Um, styling wise, it's got to be said, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty realistic. Now, um, the magazine is not on at the moment. But this isn't really a magazine it's actually a little housing where you keep your actual magazine and your actual magazine is a quite a clever stick type mag that will take five pellets so magazines in here what you've got is a little bolt on the other side you've got a little door that opens where you can add bbs and uh, you've also got a push through safety with a single stage non-adjustable trigger <clears throat> now this is a very lightweight polymer plastic rifle um, but as I say it does look the business it's very very realistic now um, it does have <clears throat> it looks better doesn't it it does have quite a nice feel to it obviously it's a lightweight rifle but it does feel nice it's shoulders well it certainly looks very good now there are two additions on this which are the red dot and the torch the torch is to add a little bit of weight to the end um i don't think i've even got a battery in there no i haven't it's just on there just to make that feel a bit more well just to add a little bit of balance to it it's, it's easier to shoot with the torch on uh, the red dot does mean i can shoot a bit more accurately over distance it does come with a flip up sight now to fire bbs you open the little door that i've just showed you let me just do that again so let's get some light in there there it is there's literally a hole there and you can pour in 350 bbs when you've done that you shut the little door and then there is a switch here and that tiny little toggle switch just pushes forward and then you're in bb mode and like a lot of these BB guns that hold a lot of BBs, you tilt it to prime it to load the first one. And once you've done that, because it's a pump, you're going to be priming it every time you stop and pump. It will take 10 pumps, that's the max. I'm going to use four, just for the uh, demonstration. Um, let's just hear what that sounds like. Put the safety on. That's better. Nice and quiet, not bad at all. Now with BBs, it's a lot of fun, but it's uh, woefully inaccurate. With pellets, it's still fun, um, and it's a tad more accurate. It's not really, well, this particular example, I wouldn't say was for target shooting, it's for tin cans and blinking and a bit of fun. Um, at four pumps, it still hits hard enough to knock down a, a knockdown target. It will uh, put a nice big dent in a tin can, on the 10 pumps, it will go right through. I'm going to shoot this at 10 yards today, just for the purposes of the demonstration. Um, this, this isn't a hunting rifle. This isn't anything with any real power to it. It's rated at, I think, 660 uh, feet per second on BBs and I think 625 on pellets, and that's probably about right. I don't think it's worth putting this over a chronograph because I don't think we're going to see anything amazing. Um, Control-wise, you've got a safety catch. You've got... Um, the bolt and you've got the magazine now with the bolt back you can withdraw the magazine and you can see it's just a stick type mag that will take five point one seven seven pellets you just push them in it's manually indexed so each time you fire you pull back the bolt and give the magazine a little tug or push depending upon which way you're working i've um pushed mine in too far that's the idea and you just keep pulling that until they're all gone. It's um, simple, effective. It's not going to cause any jams. As I say, it's quite a nice looking rifle. It's very lightweight. It's quite plasticky. But these run between £99 and £130, depending upon where you buy them from. You are going to get a nice looking, fun, um, really, a rifle for all the family. Because you can... You can load the BBs up and the kids can fire it. It's adjustable, so it fits everybody. It's not heavy, so no one's going to struggle to 
point it. It's just, um, it's not a collectible and it's not really a serious air gun. It is really fun for all the family. It's one of the nicest ones that I've um, had my hands on. Um, there are a lot on the market, actually, with this kind of style. The, uh, the workings of this, the powertrain, uh, is a tried and trusted Crossman system. It's been around for years. And uh, this particular rifle, actually, has been around for a few years now. But the, uh, the mechanics, which it uh, leans on heavily, have been around for a lot longer. So I'll do a little bit of shooting. Before I do that, um, there's a couple of things that are worth showing you, actually. So the magazine itself is just a box and that's where you keep your your actual stick magazine keep it out of the way so you don't lose it if you're not using it it's quite a good idea to put it in there um, the safety the push through safety is just in front of the trigger again we'll get some light in there you can see it's just a push and it's on and a push from the other side and it's off really really simple really really easy um, everything else on here is pretty much for show now the one issue I've found is this Picatinny rail really is too close to this pump handle. I've just about got away with it. Another couple of millimeters and it would foul. Um, from a point of view of design, the only thing that probably isn't accurate is the length of this forearm. It's longer than it should be. It should be sort of back here for an M4 carbine, but that's because it is the pump handle and you need that a, that space to operate it, and B, that's how long the mechanism is, so they've made the handle the right size. They haven't changed anything fundamentally um, with this and, and the other guns that, that this system fits on. Everything looks pretty good. I mean, I keep saying it's lightweight, it is lightweight, but it's not cheap rubbish, it's all quite firm. Nothing feels really flimsy. This isn't new. This is one that's been around for a while because my brother bought this for his kids and when they finished with it, he gave it to me and uh, I've got it for my kids and they've given it a hammering and it's still in working order. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be seeing this quite a bit just recently because I've used it in some pictures just as a prop. Um, it's brilliant for that. looks really good. It's not something that I shoot a great deal. Um, occasionally the weekends I get it out and the boys shoot some tin cans and we've got some knockdown targets which they attempt to knock down. I can knock them down. Um, and to be honest, uh, it won't be long before they can as well. So let's not dwell on it. Let's do a quick bit of shooting. I'll just come back and round up. Be right back. Well, it shoots, and it shoots okay. Um, I think, for about the £100 mark, it's a good buy. Um, if you want something that looks spookily realistic, um, that a child can fire with supervision, um, this is probably the way to go. For 100 to £130, I think it's good value. It's robust. This one certainly stood the test of time. I guess my only gripe with it probably is it, it is just so lightweight, but that isn't necessarily a con, you know, that could be a pro in some cases. I think I've mentioned that the, uh, the four stock is a bit longer than the original, um, but they don't market this as a replica, although it is a pretty good facsimile of an M4 carbine, um, which is a very famous and instantly recognizable rifle. The stock I think is actually quite good. Having said that, it got stuck there. It's not bad at all. Um, you know, there's always some play in these. The only one I can think of recently that didn't have any play was the um, Stalingrad, the AK brake barrel, which was um, superbly put together. But this is still pretty good. I don't want to waffle. I don't want to go on. It's a cheap rifle. It's good value for money. It does everything it's supposed to. Being a multi-pump, you've got control of the power. 
which um, you don't necessarily have on on some cheap rifles. I like the safety. Um, I mean, I'm not a big fan of of in trigger safeties. I, I think they can be a real nuisance. I quite like the idea of the toggle switch, and that's in quite a good position, and it's really easy to operate, which sometimes they're not. So that's it in a nutshell. That is the Crossman M4177. It's um, pretty good. And if you want your kids to have a bit of fun for the whole family, this is certainly a good way of doing it. Anyway, I won't go on. Please like and subscribe. Um, it's much appreciated to all those that have and everyone that does. I'll be back soon. Um, there's just so much to get through. I can't even begin to think about it at the moment. But I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.